Well, the first point of the point is the YouTube. Um, so that's uh, that's the, obviously the main kind of hub. That's where you can pick up a leaflet or an, where you can pick up a navigation map. Um, and there's a kind of installation of about 30 or so there. Um, and then as you walk along the greenway, there are these kind of viewing platforms, these kind of Belvedere spaces that kind of take you out into the into the landscape a little bit to give you a better view of the Olympics. Um, and they are kind of natural um, consequences of the sewage system that runs underneath, um, which are kind of these kind of ex inspection chambers and things. So that's kind of you start, start, start just the project is starting to kind of get people to go into places that maybe they are unfamiliar with um, and then as you walk down the view to uh, walk down the greenway um, you then walk down the ramps and then there are some quiet bells that have been located near to the housing and the kind of crossover point at Old Ford Lock and then as you move along the towpath then there's kind of scattered through at critical points opposite the kind of a bike bike warehouse and then a kind of um, then a, underneath the bridges for access and deliveries of the material to the Olympics and then onwards underneath there's a, these kind of critical corners when where they're they're really kind of blind corners and and so if you did ring them then in some ways you're kind of warning people that you're there as well so it's kind of doing something a uh, extra service I suppose um, and then as it moves round underneath another bridge the DLR bridge we you kind of get to the new bridge which is part of the kind of larger regeneration of of the Lee River um, which is this kind of tim new timber bridge which is connecting underneath um, the high street and the flyover which is kind of a really tough kind of connection at the moment for people for pedestrians and cyclists to get across um, and then around along Stratford High Street there's just one solitary one located underneath the high street 2012 strategy strategic improvements um, uh, which has lasted which is great and um, and then around up to Marshgate up, up Marshgate there are a number of bells that have been under, located on the blind corners around underneath the DLR tunnel around by Pudding Mill Lane um, which have, which have been kind of appropriated in the fact that they've been muted um, which has been very interesting um, I think the cycl cyclists have kind of taken ownership of it and kind of muted them because they've I think obviously it's inconveniencing their, the speed of their motion which is fine but if there's a if there's an acknowledgement of it, it that exists it's of that it's contributing in some ways so I, what I've done is I've just moved ones that have been muted already from other people from overuse in other places and I've been relocated them to around by the around by the entrance area um, and then you go back up the ramp and you hear the Belvedere, the kind of viewing area where the 30 are for the view tube as you look up. And then you're back into the view tube again. And that's it. That's the Bow Bells Ring project. The project is open from 25th of June to the 3rd of August. The mobile belfry will be taken to um, Bow Church for the 17th and 18th of September as part of the 700th anniversary celebrations, but also as part of Open House Weekend.